Okay. All right. All right. We're going to move on from the bill because I think we get what you're saying on it. In, in general, we, we should just, we, we, if we don't cut government spending, I, something really bad's going to happen. This is crazy. Our, our, our spending is so far in excess of revenue, it, it's insane. Um, like you could zero out all billionaires in the, in the country. There's always like anti-billionaire BS. Uh, well, uh, if, if you zeroed out all the billionaires, you still wouldn't solve the deficit. All right, I'll ask you another question around uh, the billionaire BS. Say tomorrow we, we've talked, you get the phone call from, uh, from President Biden. Next day, actually, we decide, we, we elect you to Congress. Somehow this happens. You're now working on tax bills. You're, you're working on tax policy. What, what is, how do you tax someone like you? How do you tax billionaires? Uh, I mean, first of all, I pay a lot of tax. I mean, my marginal tax rate is like 53%. So that's not trivial. Um, and, uh, you know, and then obviously there's like, you know, uh, uh, asset-based taxes, the sales tax, and, and everything else. Um, there's also the estate tax. I, I, and generally, I, I think I think the the estate tax is is a good tax. Um, like if you think of uh, assets beyond a certain level um, that that are far beyond, uh, let's say, somebody's ability to consume, um, then you know at a certain point, really, what you're doing is capital allocation. So you're not, it's not money for personal expenditures. It's it, what you're doing is, is capital allocation. And it does not make sense to take uh, the, the job of capital allocation away from people who have demonstrated great skill in capital allocation and give it to, uh, you know, an entity that has demonstrated very poor skill in, in capital allocation, which is the government. Uh, I mean, you can think of the government essentially uh, as a corporation in the limit. Uh, it, it is, it is a, the government is simply the biggest corporation with a monopoly on violence and with and where you have no recourse. Can so how much money do you want to give part? that entity? Can you explain the last part quickly? And then we're, I want to move on to some product stuff. Sure. I, I mean, I can talk for a bit longer, if you'd like, than the half hour, <laughs> um, if, you, if you're worried about getting through all your questions. Um, but, uh, <laughs> the, the, the I hear we have nobody else joining us. At this conference, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, government is a corporation in the limit. So, um, if you, it, it is the most corporate thing. It is, the, it is maximum corporation, um, and it, but it's also a monopoly, um, and and also is the only one that's allowed legally to do violence. So, why why would you want to give a, a corporation with no competition? That, that can't even really go bankrupt. Um, more money. Um, now, now, it's not as though I think the government shouldn't exist or that they're not good things that the government can do or, or things that are necessary for the government to do. Um, you know, for example, a, um, you know, science programs where, uh, you know, we, we send a probe to, to Mars um, and the value of that is, it's, a, it's sort of a, it's a small amount of value for, for all citizens. But it would be inefficient to sort of go and collect, you know, ten dollars from from every citizen for a Mars probe, um, and so that therefore it's better to have the government do something like that, um, you know, like a heavy science program, uh, rather than, than, than try to collect small amounts of money from from everyone. Um, so, so I'm, I'm not somebody who is who's sort of an extreme libertarian uh, and thinks the government should not do anything. I just think we should. Um, minimize what the government does because the, the government's efficiency at spending is is just going to be lower than um, a, a competitive commercial company, but by a lot. Um, if you look at, say, um, East Germany versus West Germany or North Korea versus South Korea, and you look at the GDP per capita of uh, East and West Germany or North and South Korea, the, the, the difference is gigantic. Um, and that's just the difference say, between East and West Germany or uh, um, you know, it's, it's like a random line was drawn, uh, basically depending on where the, the, the Red Army was and, and where the Allied troops were. Um, and uh, East Germany's productivity was like uh, at least five times worse than West Germany. Um, and it's not like West Germany was like some bastion of capitalism. They were quite socialist, really. So there may be as much as an order of magnitude difference between a, the efficiency of, of a competitive private company versus the government.